Hey guys, Five Entertainment is back to you with another video to stir your nerves. Soccer is the love of most teens and young adults. It's an arena of strategy, teamwork, sweat, adrenaline, and intense hooting and fun. But unfortunately, that same field of sporting pleasure have turned into the grave of some of the most beloved soccer players. Some of these moments were heartbreaking and shocking for fans. So here are the 15 most shocking moments when soccer players dropped dead on the soccer field. The last two cases include a highly tragic and shocking moment. Number 15. Christian Gomez Christian Cesar Gomez was an Argentine professional and really brilliant soccer player who played as a defender for Nuevo de Julio de Rafaela, Deportivo Armenio, Sportivo Patria, and Atletico Paraná. The 27-year-old soccer player died after fainting and passing away during a game whilst playing for Atletico Paraná against Boca Unidos on the 24th of May 2015. Number 14. Jose Antonio Gallardo Jose Antonio Gallardo Marin was a Spanish footballer who played as a goalkeeper. He played 25 professional matches for Malaga, but sadly on 21 December 1986, in a 3-2 loss to RC Celta de Vigo at Balaidos, Gallardo suffered a head injury after a collision with opposing striker Baltazar. He recovered after three hours of critical medical treatment in the Galician city and, despite facial paralysis and memory loss, he was making progress. However, on 7 January, he fell acutely ill after lunch and his family took him to the local medical center where he was transferred to Malaga's Carlos Haya Hospital. Gallardo, already in a coma, had a cerebral hemorrhage that had begun in his left temporal lobe and had split over three quarters of his brain. He died eight days later, age 25, and was buried in Arroyo de la Miel. Number 13. Pier Mario Morosini On 14 April 2012, while representing Livorno, Morosini suffered cardiac arrest and fell to the ground in the 31st minute of the Serie B match away to Pescara. He stumbled on the ground, trying to get up before losing consciousness and receiving medical attention on the field. A defibrillator was used on Morosini, who was conscious when he was taken on the stretcher. According to the news agency ANSA, a city police car was blocking the stadium's exit for the ambulance for nearly a minute, but a heart specialist said that the delay made no difference. After Motosini was taken to the hospital, the match was abandoned with Livorno leading 2-0 and some players reportedly left the field in tears. Motosini was rushed to the Santo Spirito Hospital, but reports later indicated he died before reaching the hospital. Number 12. Marcio Dos Santos He died on the 28th of October 2002, not long after playing a game between Deportivo Steve Wanka and Alianza Lima. In fact, Marcio scored the winning goal for his team. Before the game, he hadn't been feeling well and his doctor prescribed him tablets for his headache. Finally, he died in the club's hotel after suffering a heart attack. Number 11. Alen Pamic Pamic suffered a heart attack whilst playing a friendly with NK Istra in Maruzny on the 22nd of June 2013. He had a long history of cardiac problems and it wasn't the first time he had collapsed on the pitch, but the medics let him continue with his career. On this occasion, however, he couldn't carry on and he died. Number 10. Peter Byaksangzwala The 23-year-old midfielder of Bethlehem Vengfalong in India died on the 19th of October 2014 after suffering serious damage to his dorsal spine after trying to celebrate with a backflip when he scored a goal. Celebrating with Without her happiness, but in wrong ways, has made players get fined, dismissed, or even imprisoned, but his story was a tragic one. His brilliant goal ended to be his last, and the whole world was just left in tears and respect for this hero cursed with extreme bad luck. Number 9. Serhi Perkun the goalkeeper of CSKA Moscow, Sergi Perkun, died 10 days after entering into a coma on the 29th of August 2001 following a big knock to the head after accidentally colliding with a rival player during a game in the Russian League. The whole Russian fandom was utterly shocked and his demise was a national pain. He is the only player to date in the history of the Russian Premier League to die from injuries sustained during an official game. CSKA Moscow has retired number 16 to honor Perkun's legacy. Number 8. Miklos Ferrer Ferrer died on the 25th of January 2004, age 24, whilst he played for Benfica against Vitoria de Guimaraes. Ferrer collapsed on the pitch after starting to walk slowly and making an effort to keep playing. He died as a result of a pulmonary embolism. Number 7. Cech Tiote the 30-year-old Ivory Coast international suddenly fainted during a regular training session on Monday and was taken to the hospital where he died, his Chinese club Beijing Enterprises said. Tiote's Ivorian teammate, Gervino, who plays for Hebei China Fortune, described Tiote as a warrior and champion on Twitter. May your soul rest in peace, he said. Alan Pardew, who managed Tiote at Newcastle United, said, Chick was a wonderful presence around the dressing room and his performances on the field often defied belief. I loved him. He's everything that you want in a Newcastle player. Number 6. Cristiano Jr. 
Junior collided with Mohun Begin goalkeeper in the 78th minute of the Federation Cup Finals. While scoring his second goal after chasing the ball into the box, he collided with the keeper, staggered away, and then collapsed. Attempts to revive him were unsuccessful. The game continued after Junior was taken off the field. He was dead on arrival at Hosmat Hospital. Hospital officials said that no doctors were requested to be at the ground during the Federation Cup match. At no time was the hospital requested to provide doctors, and no agreement or contract for doctors was made. According to the autopsy performed in the Bangalore Hospital, where Junior was moved from the stadium, the footballer died because of a heart stroke. Number 5. Phil O'Donnell the Motherwell captain died of heart failure towards the end of his side's 5-3 Scottish Premier League win over Dundee United in December 2007. The 35-year-old midfielder collapsed just as he was about to be substituted and was treated for around five minutes on the field before being taken to a waiting ambulance. O'Donnell played for Scotland, Celtic and Sheffield Wednesday during his career and his death caused widespread grief in Scottish football, causing a number of fixtures to be postponed. He was a man among boys in every sense, in his attitude, his professionalism and integrity and sincerity his manager Mark McGee said. Number 4. Antonio Puerta Spain international Puerta, 22, collapsed while playing for Sevilla in a La Liga match against Getafe and died three days later from multiple organ failure stemming from prolonged cardiac arrest. It was three months after he had helped Sevilla to win the UEFA Cup. Sergio Ramos has a tattoo tribute to Puerta and wore a t-shirt dedicated to him as Spain won the 2010 World Cup. Antonio has always been with me. The next game, I went out on the field with his shirt and for a long time after that, I wore one that was dedicated to him, said Ramos. Number 3. Mark Vivian Foe Cameroon midfielder Foe collapsed after a heart attack during a Confederations Cup semi-final against Colombia in Lyon, France. The former Manchester City, West Ham and Lyon player was carried from the pitch as medical staff tried to revive him with mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and oxygen. After trying to restart his heart for 45 minutes without success, he was declared dead, aged just 28. His death prompted improvements in both the testing of footballers for heart problems and the treatment they can receive during matches, including training club medical teams in CPR and using defibrillators. Number 2. Jimmy Thorpe, The Forgotten Victim and Hero this story is a very tragic one and heartbreaking where intentional deeds of opposition led to the death of a goalkeeper. Jimmy Thorpe is the only player to have died on a professional English football pitch as a result of injuries caused by the actions of opposition players and the last to have been awarded a Football League Championship winner's medal posthumously. The events that led to his death forced the Football Association to amend the laws of the game to offer protection to goalkeepers to prevent a similar outcome occurring again. He was an insulin-dependent diabetic and was possibly the first player with this condition to play top-tier football in England, and the only one with type 1 diabetes to have earned a championship-winning medal. He was tragically just 22 when his injuries tragically led to his premature death. Number 1. Fabrice Muamba the Bolton Wanderers midfielder collapsed on the pitch in an FA Cup match in 2012 due to a cardiac arrest and was technically dead for 78 minutes before he was revived. It was an extremely joyful moment for his fans and family and friends. The former England under-21 midfielder had to retire soon after at the age of 24, but he will always be remembered as the soccer player who walked to the grave and back. Hope you loved the video and realized the dark reality of this incredibly popular game. If you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon for quick entertainment. Five Entertainment will be right back with more such amazing content. Till then, keep growing, keep smiling.